Police officers, EMS, firefighters, and even border security agents were among the cortege on Wyndham and Woolwich streets. The Guelph Fire Department hung a huge Canada flag between the ladders of two trucks to wave over the funeral procession. There were police officers on horseback and motorcycles and hundreds of drummers and bagpipers. The line of black cars all had a sticker of number 72, Jennifer's badge number. And as the young constable was known for her love of dogs, she would have liked to see the canine unit was a part of it too. The grief over the downtown core was very heavy and the usual daily activity was at a minimum. Many downtown businesses hung signs in honor of Jennifer. Chief Brian Larkin commented that the support of the community has been incredible in helping the police service through this dark time. Even more mourners waited outside of the Sleeman Center after the service as the procession left for a private family ceremony at the cemetery. Every police officer waited along the route saluted Jennifer one final time. A casket draped with a Canadian flag was under a spotlight as a number of people who knew Jennifer Kovac took to the podium to talk about the young woman who was living her dream of being a police officer. Constable Neil Moulton, who served on D-Platoon with Jennifer, talked about their little sister and how they hadn't met her latest boyfriend because they've been known to be tough on them. The crowd laughed and wiped tears from their eyes. Both of Jennifer's parents spoke with pride about their daughter. Reverend and Constable Jim Gordon, who also served on deep platoon with Jennifer, led the service. JK, we love you. We will never forget you. And we will miss you dearly. There was also a moving video montage tribute of Jennifer showing she really practiced one of her favorite sayings, live, love, laugh.